Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. And boy, do I got a good one for you today. So we're at Patty Siemens Homes here in Kalispell, Montana, just an hour north from where I reside. This one, I don't even know where to begin, I'm telling you. You got a smuggler's pantry. Said I'm gonna try to be a little brief on the outside though, it's trying to rain. You got a den. Well, that's above your sink. That's in your dining room. So what I was trying to say before all the loud trucks decided to go by, you gotta see the master bathroom in this home. Oh my God. I never seen anything like it. It's got a unique layout. I know y'all are gonna love it. With that, let's get out of the rain. Let's go on in. You can see this is a wide open floor plan. I just filmed a home almost identical to this at their sister location, which is Greg's Homes, also here in Kalispell, Montana. Front door is right there. Coat closet right next to your front door. Really nice to see. And it's a big one. You got lots of room for coats in there. So great big living room area. Lots of light coming in through those windows. I don't mind the finish on it. Obviously this hasn't been completely trimmed out. But all these homes that I filmed here today, both at Greg's Homes and Patty Siemens, I was driving by on my way up to uh, run some errands up here in Kalispell. I drove by both of them. Ironically, they're both on the way to where I was going and saw that they had new homes. They were the first ones I ever put up on the channel to begin with. So it was definitely time to uh, come film the new homes that they had and get them up on the channel. So you got a really big living room here. Now I'm not sure what kind of dining room chairs those are, but uh, they're definitely comfortable looking. No sliding glass door. I don't know if that's an option, but that is an extra wide window right there. So it does let in a lot of light into your dining room area. I noticed in the one I filmed at Greg's Homes, they didn't have a sliding glass door there either. So I don't know if that is an option or not. But in your island here, you've got nice little cubby space there. Plenty of seating for three. Hmm, what do we got here? Well, not much anything for a hand. A pair of aces. I don't know if that's gonna be a winning poker hand or not. So you got cubbies down at both ends. We do have lots of cabinet space in here. You do have, as they advertised over here, drawers above all your doors. And a lot of drawers throughout this whole kitchen. Stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Nice big farmhouse sink. Got the sprayer faucet. Nice big window above your sink. Nice to see the microwave is not above the stove. I don't know, it might be a little bit high for my taste, but uh, I guess that works out pretty good right there. 
Great big pots and pans drawers right next to your stove. Of course, they got all their lighting supplies in there. Do we get a spice rack also? Nope, but that is definitely put all your flats in there. It's a lot of cabinet space in here. And I didn't even notice there is some LED lighting right up above your sink too. I remember I mentioned this had the smuggler's pantry. Of course, I'm not sure what this manufacturer calls it. Kit Homes calls it the smuggler's pantry. I believe this is a champion. Now, once again, they got a lot of stuff stashed in here. Nice set of transom windows, but you can see you've got a great big pantry with lots of built-ins in here. This has got a lot more shelving. Obviously the auto light came on when I opened her up. Now let's go check out this end of the home. So coming right off of your dining room here, you've got both your bedrooms. So we'll start with this bedroom here. Of course, I should have went the other one first, but they are decent sized bedrooms. I really like the doors that they've used here. They look really good. Nice big closets. So check out the other bedroom here. I believe the bedrooms are the same size. They do have a bunch of Christmas stuff because they like to change their decorations based on the season is what they were telling me. So that's why you see so many different decorations kind of stashed around. So great big bedroom here too. Well, not really great big, but good sized bedroom. Once again, nice big closet. And your bathroom. Now the other one I filmed had this little nook right here too. I guess that's a perfect spot for a garbage can. Not sure what else you would put in there. But nice to see that big transom window above the shower tub combo. They give you a really deep tub in there. Hello, Raiden. And down here was that den. Now this isn't the largest of dens, but it's a, so it's a nice sized den. Could definitely set this up as a theater room or a game room or you know, whatever else you'd like to use it as. And your utility room. Fairly good sized utility room. Plenty of room for a freezer right there, right beside your washer and dryer. It is your furnace. Down at this end is your master bedroom. And I'm not sure if I even pointed out. We have a linen closet on the back side of your closet over there. Now here is your master bedroom. 
Now, like I said, I filmed a home almost identical to this. In fact, it was the same model at their sister location, but it had a totally different bathroom than this one. So it just goes to show you can option in different things. And I'll get to that bathroom here in just a minute. Once again, they've got their closet stuffed full of stuff, trim supplies and so on, but you can see you've got a nice big closet. So you've got a great big counter in here. What do you got? Four drawers stacked up there, lots of cabinet space down below. Another one over there really nice light fixtures and if the echo in here doesn't give you any indication as to how big this bathroom is you've got as we come around giant shower and tub look at the size of that tub so those are two foot sections so you've got four foot there and so that's close to six foot total length in that area and that tub takes up almost the whole space so that's a great big soaker tub nice big drying area the only thing i'd like to see is maybe a couple of towel racks hanging up right there and then you've got this really large tile shower really like it love the color they use too I usually like the darker colors, but that looks really good. And you've even got two shelves over in the corner. Usually you just get one. I kind of would have liked to have seen a bench in here somewhere. But other than that, what else are you going to ask for? I mean, you get huge tile shower, great big soaker tub. All in all, you've got a large master bathroom here and with that you should go down there and leave me a large and in charge comment I know whatever I tried to blend it together anyway you should go down there and leave me a large comment or a small one whatever you choose what did you think of the home do you like it I think it's a pretty nice one myself. Of course, I'm a little biased. I am filming it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, while you're down there, don't forget to smash that like button. Turn on the notifications. That way, you know when I upload videos three times a week. Make sure the subscribe button is gray. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.